welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you've been here before so i'm excited for this video and i hope you guys are excited too so this video is going to be about what a jesus follower really is and what it really means um i wanted to do this video for you guys because i know when i first started living for christ i kept hearing that term and i was just like i don't know what that means and i thought if we were christians that's what we were doing here you know what i'm saying but um it's kind of more than that and it's not just saying it it's really walking and really walking with that title every day of your life so let's get into this video so i'm going to start off by reading the scripture that really just blatantly tells you <laughs> what it really means so i'm going to be reading um luke 9 23 and it says then he said to the crowd if any of you wants to be my follower you must turn from your selfish ways and take up your cross daily and follow me and so that really tells you plain and clearly what it really means but i'm gonna go in depth and elaborate so what that really means is what it says pick up your cross daily and follow jesus so that means to every day decide and pick Jesus because every day we have a decision to make every day we have to, a decision to make whether we want to live for the world or live for Jesus and so being a Jesus follower means that it means to seek Jesus daily seek the Bible daily read and listen to what Jesus is telling you to do you know read the Bible and listen to what Jesus is telling you to do and really building a relationship with him um, a lot of people question what building a relationship with Jesus really means and it just means spending time with him. You know, if you were to have a relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend, you would spend time with them. So you need to spend time with Jesus daily. And doesn't mean two minutes out of your day say, oh, I'm going to um, read the Bible today. Two minutes. No, that means really spending time and really taking the time to say, I want to spend time with Jesus today. Let me take some time out of my day and do that. Um, and picking up your cross daily means to do that. I... <laughs> Think of like people wearing crosses around their neck like this. And I say, you know, that's your cross. It's a symbolization of you picking up your cross and putting it on. Therefore, live your life daily like that. You know, living your life, picking up your cross daily. That If that makes sense. But yeah, and I feel like you really have to be consistent with it. You know, you can't say, oh, I'm going to do it today and not do it tomorrow or I'm going to because that's not picking Jesus. That's doing what you want to do. I'm, I'm going to be honest, you know, and when you choose Jesus, you choose him. You let go of your fleshly, fleshly desires and live for Jesus. And if you're having a hard time with doing that, you can always talk to him, always say, well, Jesus, I'm having a hard time with such and such and such. And he is there to help you. He's there to say, well, let me do this. And you will have to give up some things, but he's not going to let you leave you hanging. He's going to say, oh, give up that song or give up that secular music or give up such and such, such and such, and then just leave you hanging. No, he's going to help you through it because even he knows, you know, we're human beings and he lived on this earth and lived a sinless life. So he knows temptations and things like just like we do so you really have to say you know what Jesus help me through this and that's how you get through things you don't just say I'm gonna do it on my own because that's pride and you don't want to do that so you want to say Jesus help me because that is what this journey is about living with Jesus and living this human life with Jesus so um I don't know if I straight away from what I was talking about but um yeah, it's just clearly living for Jesus and picking up your cross daily and turning from your sinful ways and really living for Jesus. And it may be, it's going to be hard. I'm not going to say it may be hard. It's going to be hard, but you can, or, it, you know, just, I'm not going to say it's going to be hard, but it's going to, some things may be difficult, you know, but you have Jesus and that is who can help you through it. Um, and always set your mind on Jesus, you know, um, Say, Jesus, I'm open for the things that you have for me to do today. You know, you know, and, and really just be open minded for what Jesus has for you and not always say, oh, well, I want to do this and this and that. But, you know, putting those things aside and saying, I want to do what Jesus wants me to do. And that's Jesus's will for you. Um, if y'all see me looking off his <laughs> notes, but um, and yeah, have your heart set on Jesus. And that is being a Jesus follower. You know, and some people um, like to use that word instead of using it, saying Christian. And that's just because they like to use that word saying um, 
Jesus following says ain't Christian because sometimes depending on who is looking at saying Christian, you know, who's someone who is saying Christian or whatever, their perspective on Christian may not be the best. So that's why people say Jesus follow because that's what your heart is on. But that was my video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned some new things. I hope I helped you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this and comment down below if you like videos like this because I don't mind doing them for you guys, you know, to help you lead you. I don't mind. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.